Today we're looking 10 years into the future on Madden. We were right at the start of next year's regular season. So let's go ahead and send them to the playoffs and see how every team does next year. By doing this, we'll see what teams will have the next dynasty, what teams will win Super Bowls in the next 10 years, what all-star players will get traded, and even more. And for the lead standings, my Carolina Panthers are actually first in the NFL. Raiders are first in the AFC. I don't know what this Madden's on. Rams are next in the Ravens, the 49ers, the Texans. A lot of these teams have like 11, 10 wins. Oh my God, the Patriots. The Patriots have four wins. How did that happen? The Seahawks and Jets had three. Josh Allen led the lead in passing yards, followed by Joe Burrow and Derek Carr. Didn't make all the offseason moves. Uh, that would have took way too long. Teddy Bridgewater is on the Rams and they did good. The Russian leader, probably Derrick Henry. Yep, Derrick Henry. Followed by Nick Chubb, Jonathan Taylor, and Najee Harris. A receiving yards leader for the first year is going to be uh, Cooper Cup, followed by Stephon Diggs. OBJ landed on the Bengals. Brian Burns led the lead in sacks with 25. Jesus, okay. Sadly, we lost in the NFC Championship game. The Raiders and the Cowboys will play in our very first Super Bowl. Justin Herbert won MVP. Coach of the year is Matt Rule. I don't know why they do offensive rookie only year at separate conferences, but I guess it was either Bryce Young or CJ Stroud on the Texans. And the Raiders ended up winning the Super Bowl 38 to 21. If Madden's trying to predict the future, I do not think it's doing a good job so far. We're heading into the second season here. I kind of just want to see if any big moves have really happened. Geno Smith landed on the Vikings somehow. Tua Tagovailoa was on the Broncos. Jimmy Garoppolo is on the chart. What happened to Justin Herbert? Like Justin Herbert just won MVP. Where is he now? Uh, I don't know how this happened. I I guess it was a huge trade. Justin Herbert is now in the Falcons. He needed to lead the Chargers if he wanted to do something with his career. Didn't need to go to the Falcons though. Listen to the playoffs and see how this second season goes. How? How? How did the Panthers fall off that much? Justin Herbert to the Falcons was a good move. And Madden's going just a little bit more predictable with this third season here. Having the Chiefs and the Eagles being the first seed. The Bengals went 9-8. and eight. So did the Seahawks. The Ravens as well. The Raiders after winning the Super Bowl are just at the bottom. Okay, I don't understand. All the teams that went up last year are going straight down and plummeting the next in the super bowl is going to be the chiefs versus the falcons dak prescott won mvp defensive player of the year for the afc was miles garrett on the nfc side brian burns is on the seahawks now no they didn't re-sign brian burns no wonder we sucked so bad joe burrow led the lead in passing yards followed by Justin Herbert, Dak Prescott, and Jimmy Garoppolo. Who is this? Hendon Hooker? Rushing yards. The leaders are Derrick Henry, Ezekiel Elliott, Nick Chubb, Jonathan Taylor, Saquon Barkley. Cooper Cup is back-to-back -back receiving yard leaders. The Chiefs won, beat the Falcons 31-16. to Thank God. Aaron Donald sadly retired, along with Chandler Jones. Cameron Jordan as well, which was on the Falcons. Okay, I didn't know that. Jordan Love is on the Washington Commanders. Sam Howell did not work out. Or Lawrence is on the Bucks. Juno Smith is on the Lions? What wasn't he just on another team? Yeah, he was on the Vikings, wasn't he? Panthers did a little bit better, but not too much better. They are four and 13. Falcons look like they might be the next big team to beat. The Steelers are leading the AFC at 13 and four. The Buccaneers are 11 and six. Okay, we're just pretty much the bottom of our division now. I'm gonna go through every team's record real quick, just so you can see what your team's record was. And Josh Allen went an MVP. Trevor Lawrence was first in passing yards, followed by the Chargers rookie. Our Russian leader is probably Derrick Henry again. No, it was Jonathan Taylor this year. Leading the receiving category is Cooper Cup once again. Brandon Coast hasn't retired yet. Will he get traded again? Surprisingly, the Chiefs did not win back-to-back -back Super Bowls. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers did. So both of the teams that went out and made big-time moves were at least in the Super Bowl. I know the Falcons didn't win the Super Bowl, but they were they were close. Jimmy Garoppolo is on the Colts, and Malik Willis is on there as well. Okay, why does this dude face look like this? Gina Smith is now on the Dolphins. The Texans are the number one seed in the AFC, while the Buccaneers are the number one seed in the NFC. I guess the CJ Stroud pick worked out officially. Chargers are the third seed with a quarterback that we have never heard of before and doesn't exist. And here's our playoff bracket for the fourth season. The Detroit Lions and Pittsburgh Steelers are in the Super Bowl. Trevor Lawrence has won MVP this year. How did the Lions go eight and nine and are in the Super Bowl? And they actually did win the Super Bowl with a final score of 12 to 10. Joe Burrow was first in passing yards this year. Okay, Najee Harris led the lead in rushing yards. Cooper Cup is finally over third in receiving yards and Chris Godwin won it. Since I'm playing the Carolina Panthers, I think I'm supposed to resign people because we just completely gave up on Bryce Young. Okay, this is something new. The Giants are having a good season with the Bills, the Bucks, the Titans, the Chiefs, the Browns, the Cowboys. 
Cowboys to Colts. Yeah, I'm just going to go through all these once again. Watch, I bet the Bears are not at the bottom, but I bet the Panthers are still are. Yep, they went 0-17. The Bay Buccaneers are back in the Super Bowl for the second time in this video, while the Baltimore Ravens have made it for the first time with Lamar Jackson as well. Josh Allen won MVP again. Passing leaders was Joe Burrow once again, the Russian leader. Let me guess, Derrick Henry. Okay, Nick Chubb. Receiving leader, probably Cooper Cup. DJ Moore? Okay, DJ, I see you. And the Bucs won their second Super Bowl, 32 to 21. Congratulations, Bucs fan. You won two out of the five Super Bowls. We're now halfway through our simulation. After going through the rosters, there's only nine NFL quarterbacks that are still on the same team that they're currently on now. That's Fields on the Bears, Burrow on the Bengals, Allen on the Bills, Murray on the Cardinals, Mahomes on the Chiefs, Dak Prescott still on the Cowboys, Hurt still on the Eagles, Matt Jones still on the Patriots, and Lamar Jackson still on the Ravens, which that's kind of ironic. The Buccaneers are completely dominating the NFL these past couple of times. The Bengals are the first seed in the AFC at 12 and 5. Chargers are out there as well. I'm going to go through these like I do every year. So you can see real quick that the Panthers are at the very bottom at 2 and 15. The Raiders are in the Super Bowl again. The Raiders have had a Pretty good next 10 years in this video so far. It's probably Josh Allen winning MVP once again. Watch. Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow led the lead in passing yards once again. Rushing is Najee Harris. Okay, back to back this time. Receiving is Chris Godwin going back to back. And the Raiders actually won the Super Bowl. I can't 100% remember if they won it last time or not. Yeah, we finally get to see CJ Stroud in a Super Bowl. It'll be the Seahawks versus the Texans in Super Bowl 64. The Raiders once again dominated in the AFC. Then get to the Super Bowl this year, and CJ Stroud did not win the Super Bowl. Bowl. They lost to the Seattle Seahawks 41 to 17. Joe Burrow was the MVP Raiders for fans the are eating this all up. Having a Super Bowl champion and basically being at the top of the NFL just about every year is actually crazy. It's the fifth seeded LA Chargers and the second seeded Tampa Bay Buccaneers facing off in the Super Bowl this year. MVP was Trevor Lawrence and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers win another Super Bowl. We only have two more years of simulation here. The Raiders are just, they're just doing everything to everybody. I don't even know what to say. They're 15 and two. Buccaneers, of course, ruling the NFL as well. The Falcons are back, okay. The Texans, we've, we're, we're kind of seeing the same names up there at the top over and over again, which that's okay. That's probably gonna happen. Joe Burrow winning MVP once again. Just realized the Panthers quarterback name is Dustin Tepper. Is this like our owner's like grandchild or something? Now we're starting to see the CPUs take over. Derek Hartman was the passing leader. The Russian leader was Jonathan Taylor and the wide receiver leader. Why does he look like that? Jesus. Surprisingly, I haven't seen Justin Jefferson's name as much as I thought I would. The Seahawks are actually putting together some actually good years here and competing with the Buccaneers and the Raiders. Where are the Raiders at actually? Greg Kaiser leads the lead in passing yards. Rushing yards is going to be Jonathan Taylor once again and receiving yards it's going to be Ramen Savage. Super Bowl would be the Bengals versus the Seahawks. Kind of hoping the Bengals win because we haven't seen Joe Burrow win a Super Bowl, which that's kind of a surprising factor too. We haven't seen Joe Burrow, Josh Allen. Uh, I don't even think we've seen Patrick Mahomes win, but one Super Bowl and they lose. Okay, Seahawks win another Super Bowl, 31-28. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.